Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Happy to see you again uh, in this video tutorial. Uh, in this uh, video, let's have a look on the taper deformer. So taper deformer can be accessed from the move tool. Uh, in this move tool, you have this gear icon and then uh, just choose the taper deformer there. And then you get this uh, manipulator. So you have uh, the cones which can be selected and we can drag and achieve the taper in any direction we want. And we have uh, the opacity or the influence of uh, that taper in that particular direction and then we have the exponent so let me just uh, explore uh, those uh, options so let me select this cone in the y-axis and then drag it up or drag it down so you should be able to see you get that nice uh, flame like shape there very similarly I can put that in center so we have the opacity option where uh, we can just click and drag and then see uh, when I do this it's not really affecting some points in uh, those axes okay it's only affecting at the vertical points uh, we can also uh, do that with uh, this so in the x-axis the influence of the taper is not at all seen there so if i just uh, reduce the values on all direction you may not see the taper effect happening at all there uh, and also we have the exponent which i can select and then modify the way this taper is affecting my model okay so once uh, the taper is achieved i can just go to the gear icon and then say accept you can apply this to any of the models you have with you. For example, uh, we have uh, uh, this model, which is a demo. And then I just go to the solo button and then just choose the taper. Uh, it has got the subdivision history. So I'll just freeze that. And then I'll just go to the taper and then just click and drag. And then you should be able to see it's going to affect uh, the models. Uh, and sometimes uh, this effect can generally give you um, a caricature style effect or certain deformation but ideal for uh, ornamental designs uh, like in this case we have taken the sphere and then when we have applied this okay maybe i can just select this long and then go to the taper and then drag it this way and then apply the accept button in combination with this let me apply the bend curve and then add the resolutions and then start modifying this shape here okay so if you want to create any uh, shapes like that you can actually use this bend curve in combination of the taper so um, we see a lot of uh, these kind of shapes in ornamental design so it is very ideal in this in these cases uh, so i hope you are liking my videos if you like this video hit the like button and feel free to uh, comment uh, about the video or any other videos you uh, you came across my channel and request you to subscribe my channel for more such content thank you